Hi folks, I'm Richard Santucci. I'm one of the senior surgeons at the Crane Center for Transgender Surgery. And this is a short note on transgender research. So today we're gonna be talking about a 2019 paper uh, that was, I think, uh, groundbreaking. It's called Imaging Findings in Transgender Patients After Gender Confirming Surgery. Uh, and uh, this appears in um, the, one of the main journals for radiologists, and it was a project um, conceived by its uh, first author, Justin Stoll, and it's really important because it turns out that we have an increasing number of transgender patients that are getting CT scans, ultrasounds, MRIs, but radiologists, believe it or not, are not knowledgeable about the anatomic differences between operated transgender patients and non-operated patients, and they were misreading. Uh, I don't know how many times I've looked at a CT scan on a trans man that reported findings about the prostate. Trans men don't have prostates. So uh, because of a lack of knowledge, the radiologist literally hallucinated a, uh, a prostate in those images. And what um, uh, Dr. Stoll did uh, was he basically carefully explained each transgender surgery, uh, again, with the idea that, that radiologists should be reading this. So he would give you uh, some sort of uh, graphical uh, representation of a vaginoplasty or phalloplasty, and then follow up x-rays, MRIs, CT scans, ultrasounds uh, of both the uh, unafflicted normal condition and patients with actual medical problems that would show up on uh, CT scans. To me, um, uh, research like this is so important because we really are in, in a brave new world where people just don't know enough about transgender surgery and uh, this is the kind of uh, effort um, that uh, can help reverse that. Um, I work together with Dr. Stowell to uh, provide uh, many of the um, x-rays of uh, the transgender uh, patients, uh, usually in the genital region because I am a reconstructive urologist and transgender surgeon, uh, but I'm quite proud of this one. Uh, and I think it's uh, one of the, hopefully one in a series of necessary papers educating folks that maybe just haven't seen enough transgender patients to be the experts that we need them to be. Thanks.